Spooky Scorched is now live and there's plenty of rare rewards you can farm for in the very first edition of this Halloween event. Let's dive in! Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. The spooky season has officially started and the spooky scorched are now live until the 2nd of November. So for the next two weeks you can farm as many of these scorched as you want in order to collect all the rewards which were once the rewards pool for Mischief Knight, a now retired activity which used to be 76 Halloween event, but due to major bugs Bethesda decided to remove it completely. If you are not familiar with the spooky scorched event yet, feel free to check my complete guide featuring spawn rules, fixed drops, the new candy ball mini event and so much more. Now there are dozens of rewards you can get from Spooky Scorched and their spooky treat bags but not all of them are rare sadly. In this video I will show you all the 24 rare goodies you can get from Spooky Scorched as well as a brand new reward mm -hmm. and even the drop rates for the treat bags. I will finish with a quick opinion and a few suggestions. Well then, let's jump into the details, that's what you're here for, right? Alright, so the concept of this event is simple, kill Spooky Scorched in the open world, farm their spooky treat bags and then open them for Halloween rewards. There are dozens and dozens of possible rewards you can get from them, mostly common and utility stuff such as ammo, cams, drinks and so on. However, this event also comes with an uncommon and rare rewards list, as mentioned in the intro and as you can see. But what are the chances to receive loot from one specific category or for a specific item you really want? Well, that's the complicated part, but don't you worry. At the Fallout Wiki, you can find all the percentages in great detail, as shown. The link is also below the video in case you want to check it at your own pace. But we don't really need to get into sub percentages. The main thing you should know about is that per every treat bag you open, you have a 50% chance to get something in common and a 30% chance to get something rare. Note that the 50% chance Note there is a 15% chance for rare plants and then another 15% chance for rare cosmetics. Keep in mind that the rare costumes have two entries, one inside the rare plants and then a separate one for the 15% rare cosmetics, which gives you a slightly higher chance to loot them. Now the sub percentages can be rather confusing if you are not a mad guru, so let's leave them where they are for now. According to the data miner Madocrot, who calculated each percentage individually, your chances to get each of these rare plans is only 0.86%, and the chance to loot one of these rare costumes is a bit higher, 4.6%. He also added the subcategory percentages, such as the Grim Reaper cutout, it's one of the rarest plants you can get, with only a 1.5% chance to drop per bag. Anyway, I know the rewards pool is quite diluted and the drop chances are rather low, but at least now you know how low exactly. Anyway, let's move on to the rare rewards now. Let's start with the only new reward since Mischief Knight's edition back in 2019, I'm talking about the popcorn machine, that's right. This new reward is not part of the spooky treat bag rewards, so it's not a direct reward, however it's still part of the spooky scorched event rewards, you can get it from the new challenges, so I guess it still qualifies, right? Anyway, this machine was live in the public test servers a few months back and it's finally getting released now for Halloween. 2021. The popcorn machine requires some power to work, 8 energy as shown, and it will produce free popcorn candy. This new type of food will come with a few benefits as well, such as a slight health and stamina recovery, as well as hunger and thirst decrease. The same effect found in bubble gums. If you are wondering how to unlock it exactly, well, it seems like Bethesda added a challenge chain, so you need to complete at least two weekly challenges for the treat or trick mini event to give away mystery candy. According to the Fallout Wiki, players can unlock the popcorn machine on the third week of challenges, so hold on tight, we have to wait a little bit longer until we can build this new reward. Until then, make sure to complete all your special weekly challenges, otherwise you might miss on this awesome reward. 
The pirate costume has been one of the rarest ones in the wasteland for the past years. I hardly even saw anyone wearing it, to be honest with you. And now you can get it again from the spooky treat bags. Your chances to get both, the hat and outfit are not very high, but it's nothing a high farming effort shouldn't solve, unless you're extremely unlucky. Now this costume is perfect to seal the Appalachian waters, or whatever is left of them, joking, it's a pretty nice costume overall, especially for those of you who like to cosplay, you know, boats and sailing. I actually saw a few boat camps in the past, so I think this one is perfect for that concept. The highlight details here are the huge belt, the pirate mug and the coin stash attached to the hip area. Aye, let's proceed. The jack-o'-lantern short and long pantsuits are one-of-a-kind outfits. There is nothing alike in the entire cosmetics list. I can tell you that much. I mean, there's plenty of suits, yes, but in orange with pumpkin faces, well, that not so much, right? Anyway, these two outfits are part of the rare rewards list too, and they are the perfect fit to celebrate Halloween in style. So you might want to keep at least one of them stashed for future occasions as well. I personally prefer the pantsuit, the short suit with sports shoes and white socks just doesn't do it for me, but A, you're the judge of your own fashion. <laughs> but you know, if you manage to loot the two suits, why choose when you can keep out? Next we have some uncommon rewards, which are actually rare items. No joke, I even checked Fallout Wiki to ensure their drop locations are well rare. So first of all we have the fireman costume, including the outfit and hat. Now the hat can be obtained outside of the Spooky Scorched event, there are even two possible sources, but when it comes to the outfit, that's another story. It's exclusive to the Halloween events. First to Mischief Night and now to Spooky Scorched. So you might want to hold on to this costume, judging by its rarity, or simply because it looks cool. I mean, there's so much detail here, just look at that. From the helmet to the Charleston plate, the side logos, the gloves, belt, or the oxygen supply on the back. Plus, if you really don't want to cosplay Fireman in the end, I'm sure you can easily find a buyer and cash out on your lucky drops. Another uncommon entry that is in fact a rare item is the white spring jumpsuit, as strange as it sounds. This outfit can only drop from completed events in the Savage Divide outside of the Halloween event. This is one of the rare region outfits, which became way less rare, first with Mischief Knight and now with Spooky Scorched, because there's a second source. With this information in mind, I advise you to keep one of these jumpsuits as well. I mean, in three years of 76 and hundreds of Savage Divide events done, I never got one of these from the events, but I did get a couple from Mischief Knight back in the day, so it's definitely a great way to get your hands on one of these rare outfits. I have one last uncommon outfit, which again is far from being a common item. It's another rare one, as you can imagine, it's the clean ranger outfit. It doesn't look that impressive to say the least, but it's one of those which is very difficult to get outside of the Halloween event. In fact, the only way to get a clean version of this outfit is through the unique responders vendor, you know, the one that appears from certain random encounter spawns. It can sometimes sell you this entry, but it doesn't happen very often. So you see, this outfit is totally worth keeping even if it looks basic. It's not about the looks here, it's about its value and rarity. It's definitely collector's material right there, if you ask me. Now let's return to the actual rare rewards list. The Grim Reaper Vault Boy cutout is one of the rarest rewards you can get from the entire event. This floor decor entry was already that rare during Mischief Night, and it's the same exact way now with Spooky Scorched. So if you get the spear, make sure to use it wisely. It's worth a lot of caps, and I would say it's worth trading for other rare stuff, as time goes by especially. Other than that, it's definitely a great way to invite your guests during Halloween. Death awaits you inside, come along. Now it's time to enter into the pumpkin rack territory. There are currently four racks you can collect, 
too full and too half empty or half full depends on the perspective, I suppose. Once you learn these floor decor plans, the racks in building mode will display their names literally as pumpkin racks. So it can get tricky to know which one is which. Anyway, these racks make wonderful decorations for any Halloween camp. Plus, they are like pre-made versions of the following rewards. Moving forward, I want to leave one last note here. There is a fifth rack, yes, the empty rack, to be precise. It was initially part of the Mischief Night rewards, but it was bugged. As a result, no one could get their hands on it. Two years later, Bethesda still hasn't fixed the issue, and the empty racks have now been set to retired content in the game files as determined by Mad Dog Rod here. The empty rack is now labeled as ZZZ content, which is a tag for cut or retired content. As such, do not tire your farming skills in hopes to get it sooner or later, because it will simply not happen. Empty racks cannot drop through any legit channels right now, just to make it clear. The last batch of new rewards includes 10 different entries. I'm talking about the rear jack-o'-lantern pumpkins under floor decor, of course, what else could it be, huh? You can get them in all shapes, sizes and formats, so hail diversity, it's a beautiful thing to have. It might be a bit challenging to collect them all though, but it's definitely not impossible to do so. Now, these pumpkins feature emotes, logos and even well-known figures. I think these items are perfect to customize your camps. They are excellent tools of precision and fun. It can definitely enable both. You can just pair them in endless different ways or even combine them with other Halloween items on all sorts of surfaces. Just like I did here on my table and then on my entrance stairs, I alternated them with the pumpkin lights and candles. I think it came out pretty nicely. It's just a couple of ideas. Of course, there's a lot more you can do with them. So make sure to get creative. These items are there for that. Well, with the 24 rare rewards out of the way, I just want to point out that Bethesda could have done more and better in a very easy manner. I mean, we literally got no single new reward added to the event's pool. Yes, there is the popcorn machine from Challenges, but they had two ears, guys, two ears to rethink Mischief Night, and this is all we get. Recycled content, a copy-paste Holy Discord event with a migrated rewards pool. Really? Are they for real? The very least they could have done was to add a few new rewards, so everyone, new and veteran players, could have a good reason to farm them. Because if you are in the same situation as me, if you farmed everything with Mischief Knight already, then we have everything. There's no reason to farm Spooky Scorched at all. So with all of this in mind, I thought, why not look around and come up with some easy suggestions that could have made everyone happier. Let's start with the empty rack, which I mentioned earlier. This item is in the game since the release days. It was part of the rewards pool too, but it never made it for some reason. You can even find empty racks at locations like the pumpkin houses yard. So how difficult could it be to add it for players as well? Another possible reward would be pumpkins, you know, the real plant, the crop. This one was planned to be a still dawn reward back in the PTS, if I'm not mistaken, but due to major bugs, again, Bethesda decided to postpone it and we haven't heard about it ever since. But wouldn't it be perfect to get a real pumpkin as a Halloween reward? It would be super fitting, but well, it's not happening for 2021. Maybe next year, who knows. I discovered some other very fitting items across the wasteland, such as these wall decor Halloween banners with trick or treat words, or just these pumpkin logos. It's the same style, the same format, so it could make a small bundle, I guess. There's also the cauldron with candy at several locations, or even the pumpkin flower bouquet. Any of them would have been decent fitting your rewards. At this point, I think even a broom, guys. A broom would be okay. I mean, anything new is better than nothing, right? Nothing is nothing. But yeah, it is what it is. These are my suggestions. Maybe next year we will get something more than just recycled and migrated content for Halloween. That's all we can do. Suggest and hope for the best. 
I wish you good luck while farming Spooky Scorched and I hope you get all the rare rewards you want, if you are still missing some, of course. Don't forget that some uncommon entries are in fact rare items, so they are also worth keeping. Lastly, do not skip any special Halloween weekly challenges because they will ultimately lead to the only new reward part of the festivities, the popcorn machine. So remember that, it's very important. Alright, with that being said, don't forget my own Halloween screenshot content is live until October 31. Submit your best shot in my Discord's event channel for a chance to win awesome prizes like an Amazon digital card. The event is for all platforms too, it's not PC only. All the rules can be found in my Discord as well, so come along and participate. My Discord's link is below the channel if you haven't joined yet. All right, that's everything for now. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment below, and all of that. Consider subscribing too if you haven't yet. I am Marta Branco. Thanks to everyone who goes the extra mile for my channel, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye bye.